Hi there guys, how are you doing? This is your friend and tutor Manas and we're going to be continuing with a discussion on conic sections and today I'm going to be talking about parabola. So let's see what problem number one has in store. Here we go. A ball is thrown up in the air, reaches a maximum height of 45 meters and travels a horizontal distance of 75 meters. Trace the path of the ball assuming it to be parabolic. Alright, so two important things have been given to us horizontal distance in the form of 75 meters and one more thing that has been given is maximum height travel or the vertical height travel by the ball is 45 meters now both these data that is 45 meters and 75 meters are huge okay so it's not possible for me uh, to make a 45 meter long line on a drawing sheet which is hardly a meter long or hardly a meter wide and hence we've got to use some kind of a scale and the scale that i'm going to use is what you call 10 meter um, 10 meter is equal to 1 centimeter say all right so by using this scale I can ensure that the drawing fits in properly on a drawing sheet all right so let's see how it goes so initially it will kick off by drawing a line this is going to be 7.5 centimeter on a drawing sheet which in reality is 75 meters long all right now you have to take the center point of this line and then move upwards for the maximum height which has been given to us as 45 meters but on a drawing sheet you're going to draw a line of 4.5 centimeters so that's how uh, it works all right now i'm going to make this a rectangle something of this sort and then in the next step what i'm going to be doing is i have to inscribe a parabola inside this okay something like this so there is a ball which is supposed to be thrown from here we see with the way the mouse is hovering and as soon as the ball is released it's gonna follow this track please check the way the mouse is hovering okay where the cursor is that's the track that we are supposed to construct and let's see how that can be done so initially i'll be drawing a line from this point okay and at any random angle of any random length and i'm going to be placing points one centimeter apart okay you can do so with the help of a compass or simply by placing your scale okay one centimeter apart three points so these are the three points one centimeter apart and i'm going to be dividing this line into three equal parts that's why i've done so so for three equal parts you're going to have three points somewhere along this line and at the end this third point has to be joined with this point over here okay something like this and then you can keep your mini drafter along this line perfectly and then tighten the screw move to the second point draw a line move to the first point draw a line that's it now you can see that this line has been divided into three equal parts so this is going to be point one and this over here is point two similarly in the same way this vertical line also needs to be divided into three equal parts okay so i'm going to draw randomly a line from here something like this at any angle and of any random length and again i'm going to be placing three points preferably one centimeter apart like this okay so this is the third point let's join this third point with this end of this line and again you need to keep your mini drafter over here all right tighten the screw bring it to the second point draw a line bring it to the first point draw a line this is going to be one dash two dash that's it all right now this one dash and two dash points are going to be joined with this point o something like this and in the next step i'm going to be producing a line from one in the upward direction until it meets this o one dash line okay something like this that's it so this is going to be point p1 and similarly if you try to produce a line from point 2 until it meets o2 dash it's going to intersect that somewhere here so this is point p1 this is point p2 on the parabola now you can do the same construction over here and get points p3 and p4 or you can also reflect these two points over to this side let me show you how that can be done so set your mini drafters absolutely horizontally okay and then bring it over here and here so that you can have these two horizontal lines that's it now essentially what you need to do is you need to keep one leg of your compass here please see where the mouse is hovering other leg over here with that much amount as the radii and again with this guy as the center put an arc okay the same stuff has to be repeated keep one leg of your compass here other leg over here with that much amount as the radii and with this guy again as the center you've got to put an arc so these are what you call points p3 and p4 which are an absolute reflection on point p2 and p1 all right and when you join all these points in proper sequence with the help of a smooth curve that smooth curve in fact is very popularly known as a parabola so guys that was all from my side for today if you have any doubts or queries do write them down in the comment section below i'll be very happy to answer them i'm going to be taking up some more problem based on parabola 
Until then, it's a wrap for today. This is Manas Patnaik signing off. Take care, have a great day and keep drawing.